Well, hi and welcome to this week's update. Uh, I don't really know where to start, to be honest. I'm still processing everything that God did last Sunday. Uh, whichever setting you were in, whether in a congregation, whether you were at church at home, the worship was so powerful. I mean, in our setting down here, uh, we, we're having people getting healed in the worship, getting healed through the message about just being overwhelmed with the love of God, being overtaken with his presence. What a time we had. Don't, don't miss out on what God's doing right now. This is a season where God is pouring out love and grace and healing, and he wants you to be on the receiving end of that. I know many of you have, have touched loss. You've lost loved ones, maybe work colleagues, and we're restarting the bereavement journey course in a couple of weeks, which has already helped so many people. Uh, it's over five weeks. Um, details you can get at info at kingdomfaith.com. Encourage you, if you've been touched by loss personally or, or, or in whatever way, this is really going to help you on your journey. The guys that run it are brilliant. They've all been through a loss journey themselves and they've all found real strength and comfort and release by going on this course together. Next week, we've got uh, our congregational prayer opportunity on a Wednesday night. We not did have one in uh, May and June because of boot camp, which was great. But we restart those uh, next week. It'd be great for you to log in. All the details will be on the website page. You can check those out. Just be part of a move of God in prayer. I don't know about you, but also last Sunday, we had a couple of people with us come and say, I've actually got loads of questions. And, you know, we know that there's this going on and we know that there's loss and we know there's this. But is God real and does God really love me? And, and in our online alphas, we've discovered it's a great context for people to come and ask all kinds of questions. And God seems to answer all of them. So if you've got questions, not just about last Sunday, but any Sunday, any day, please don't leave that question unasked. Register an interest at uh, on our Alpha website page, or just again, go to infoatkingdoffaith.com. We will be starting up some uh, Alpha courses in the next few weeks. And we'd love you to be part of that. As you can see, um, we're blessed down here at Worthing. Uh, you're blessed too, but we're really blessed because we live near the sea. And uh, on the 24th of July, so not that far away, we're gonna be here. I'm just gonna walk around so you can see. You've got the sea behind me. And we've got this huge open space, which we've got permission from the local council to have a church family picnic. And we're gonna be here for pretty much most of the 24th of July, it's a Saturday. Um, bring your family, your friends, something to eat, a sunshade, sun cream, sunglasses, because we're in sunny, right? So bring a boat, um, swimming costume, whatever. But during our time together in the church family picnic, which is for all of the family, your kids, whatever, we're gonna be baptizing some people just there, which is gonna be awesome. So we're expecting a really warm day, a really high tide, and we're expecting your company. So please come and join us down here, Goring Woods. There's parking on Marine Road, which is the road that you can see there, or um, some of the side roads. There's always plenty of space here to park, so don't worry about that. If you, um, Ice cream fans turn up when they know we're here. Always excited, I love a good ice cream. Um, we're gonna be putting up a gazebo here and a couple of flags so that you know where we are. But just come along, uh, we'll confirm the, the, the actual times. It's gonna be kind of coffee time until tea time on the 24th of July. But just come for some of it, come for all of it. Come with your friends, come with your family. Bless you, have a great rest of the week.